It's been another big week for London's booming financial tech sector. In one of the biggest funding rounds of the year, Peer-to-Peer -peer Lending Marketplace Funding Circle raised 65 million US dollars and crowdfunding giant Crowdcube raised 6.5 million and they're going to be opening their first office outside of Exeter right here in London. And Accelerator Seatcamp launched their new 30 million US dollar fund. They'll be focusing on fintech, marketplace and Internet of Things startups. The elevator pitch kicked off with a record-breaking number of applicants. Over 60 of the UK's brightest startups pitched at campus. 25 companies will go through to round two, our Dragon's Den style judging night. Head to techcitynews.com to watch the pitches and don't forget to join the public vote coming up soon. This week, Yieldify are hiring. Yieldify converts abandoning visitors into customers and already has over 800 clients. They currently have offices in London, Berlin and New York and are rapidly expanding. So click below to see which jobs are available. Our next story is for all of the cat lovers out there. Do you have a feline friend with a lack of self-control? Well, the solution is finally here thanks to an Indiegogo campaign all the way from Taiwan. This next generation cat feeder features feline facial recognition to keep an eye on your cat's food intake. But wait, there's more. You can track your cat's eating habits on your smartphone and even watch your cat eating direct via the built-in webcam. Our download of the week is Pocket High Street. Here's Alex to tell us more. Pocket High Street is London's first click and collect marketplace for London's cycling community. Find the things you want nearby from across hundreds of London's local bike shops, then click and collect from everyone through one simple and secure checkout. The High Street's in your pocket. News broke this week that should be a lesson for us all. Remember all those late night selfies you've been taking that you thought you deleted off your phone? Well, it turns out they're still around. Tens of thousands of images have resurfaced after a security firm acquired phones off eBay. Experts say the only way you can protect yourself is by destroying your old phone. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.